Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here again. There's been so many questions about how to proceed to use this ink level sensor system that Precision Colors designed in cells, as well as other options that are available, such as the so-called, I believe it's something like a porthole type system. You install this actual window on your cartridge that requires a bit of skill, but let's go back to the very basics. Why are you doing this? Why? Because you either are using OEM cartridges only at about $70 each, and you have 12 of them to deal with. Periodically, you will be changing them, especially the Chrome Optimizer, quite often. Now, you also have the option of installing single-use chips there are some legal issues uh, using those chips, by the way, uh, especially here in the U.S., but, you know, you have no other options if you want to continue using a regular type ink display, if you will. Only a chip can do that for you, where you visually see that on your printing application. When you begin to print, you will see your ink levels. Now, what if we want to use third-party products? Well... You have to refill those original cartridges and they're easy to refill. There are several methods. The easiest one is to simply drill a hole in the back. You see this plug right here? You drill a 5 30 seconds hole and do it carefully. Do not make it too large or the plug is going to fit loose and you're going to have ink spillage. So, you know, keep in mind that when you proceed or at least accept the fact that you want to go ahead and do this you're opening up let's just say a pandora's box if you mess up so do this carefully that way the plug will fit tightly and you will not have any ink spills because you are going to be refilling these cartridges right here with 80 milliliters of ink i don't care where you buy your inks from i suggest you get them from precision colors because they are the proven uh, best inks available out there you might be able to get slightly cheaper ones from other sources, but remember that Precision Colors also offers OEM loads, okay? So, anyway, so from now on, you're going to then be refilling your cartridges. When that chip says, I'm empty, you replace the chip for like $14 each plus a load of ink. Well, at some point, you might get tired of replacing these chips, but the beauty of the chips is that they tell you when the cartridge is empty and when the chip says i'm empty the cartridge is indeed empty unlike other printing systems out there where you actually throw away some ink when the cartridge says i'm empty it's not really empty it cannot go empty it's impossible because it will harm the printer but a canon printer like the pro 1000 has internal compartments and ink lines it could literally run out of ink at the cartridge level without causing any harm you replace that empty cartridge with a new one and immediately you fill in whatever void you may have created during that period okay the declaration of emptiness if you will but now you want to refill and you don't want to use chips well so what are your options well you can keep your oem chips but you have to disable them and the, there is a process you must must abide by otherwise it's just not going to work i want to really emphasize this do not if you plan to do this and okay, get into this remember you must never ever allow your cartridge to go empty so how do you do that well you drill that hole while you still have ink in it okay don't wait until it's like low do it prior to that all 12 of them do it carefully drill bits have a tendency to pull the chips out not push them in so you're not going to get any debris inside your cartridge you take a razor blade once you get done drilling it and you clean any ridges that you may have built up and that plug should fit so tightly 
that it is really a pain to get that plug in there especially on a dried up cartridge like this one is so that means it's not going to ever leak okay now what do you do what do you do to achieve that magical condition that will allow you to disable that chip and why do you want to do that because you don't want to be buying fourteen dollars worth of chips every time you want to you know refill your cartridge because it's empty so you're going to disable the chip what it's going to do is just going to rely on its code for color and it's going to tell the printer canon somehow allows you to do this and they leave it up to you you know to to manage your ink levels well they're not telling you outright to refill but you know what i mean they're not preventing you from doing so so here's what we do we prepare our cartridges for refilling okay all 12 of them and you buy your inks from your favorite source pc okay you buy your inks and you top every cartridge up so that it weighs about 112 grams that is full that is factory full it can actually accept a little bit more ink than that but just 112 even 110 it really doesn't matter just as long as it's above what would be a low warning level and that's about maybe a weight of about 55 grams total if you just weigh this this is empty this weighs 32 grams so about 55 grams that's when the low warning kicks in 112 is full out of the box out of the wrapper you weigh it 112 keep that in mind okay so you want to have an ink level at all times that is above low so anything above 55 grams total weight okay so that's how you that's how you figure it out and you maintain that forever as long as it takes here's what will happen normally what happens is the chip declares itself as low you get a exclamation mark that is yellow that means that hey at this point you better start ordering some ink so it will then continue printing remember you have 55 you subtract 32 from 55 that's how many grams of ink you have left so you're going to continue printing and at some point through its incredibly precise measuring protocol that the printer performs at some point the cartridge will literally go empty and the chip is declared red x you basically remove it that's now empty if you want to mess around with the cartridge later keep it but you will then install a 70 dollar brand new one or one you have refilled with a replacement chip okay now here's what we do to disable those chips so from now on all we're going to do is maintain those cartridges above 55 grams 70 80 90 it doesn't matter as long as it's above what would be a normal low warning the printer is measuring every milliliter of ink that passes through that compartment okay it knows exactly how much ink is passing through i'm not going to get into how it does it you've heard me describe this before it depends on a set of sensors that are inside those compartments okay so at some point it says i've used up x amount of ink therefore i should be low well if it was really true then it would weigh about 55 grams total weight but you've been cheating you've been topping off those cartridges way above that and you maintain that level above what would normally be low and you continue doing this and that low warning just seems to stay there forever that's what i thought i thought it was ever gonna go away and i talked to precision colors owner michael lee about this and he thought well you may have a point there jose and then all of a sudden i got a error and i looked at my screen on my printer and it said error 1753 what the hell is that so i looked it up and it gave me exactly the instructions to use to disable the chip this is from canon from canon's manual so when you see that 1753 error you hold that button below the power button 
for five seconds just hold it and eventually the screen will say processing and you'll see it kind of marching across and that means that the printer now is disabling that particular color chip it's still identifying itself as yellow or magenta but it's now disabled no longer will you be able to use it to determine how much ink you have left so it will show up on your screen this is weird it will show up on your screen as full but on your computer back here on your computer when you check your ink levels in your driver it will say nothing it'll just appear it'll just say yellow and nothing okay don't worry that's that's the way it's going to be so that chip once it stops processing okay it is declared disabled okay and basically you wait until all the cartridges one by one are declared error 1753 you press the pause button and you see the word processing on your screen and when it is done it is now disabled okay so now all of your cartridges are disabled none of them are actually telling you how much ink there is inside them so you need something you need some way something magical that will actually be able to sense right through the cartridge wall how much ink is inside and that's where the sensors come in okay so to get to the point where you can use those sensors you have to disable those chips so do it correctly quickly step by step pre modify your cartridges and immediately top them off i don't care what level they were in as long as they were above low okay step number one modify your cartridges and top them off put the plug back in put them back in your printer the ink levels according to the chips will still be identical the same as they were prior to you doing this little bit of tampering okay but the thing is here's here's the key you will never actually physically reach low condition in the cartridge itself physically because you will always have more ink than you would normally have if you had not tampered with anything okay you get what i mean so you're going to be refilling those cartridges just use a scale put them on a scale dribble ink through that hole with your syringe or your bottle until it reaches 110 let's just call it 110 to make it easy put the plug back on it put it back in your printer so you're topping off all your cartridges periodically and your chips are still operating normally they will reach low and they will stay at low because you have been adding ink to your cartridges okay you make sure you never really let it go to what would actually be a low condition always keep those cartridges filled at some point it'll just get tired of being low it'll say because it's computing internally how much ink has passed through that compartment into your printhead and he says wait a minute i used up way more ink than i should have and somehow every time my sensor says hey i'm the compartment please refill me and ink continues to flow in how could that be i've already used up you know gone through more ink than i should have had let me let me declare this error 1753 boom now you do whatever the heck you want to do you can disable me that's it so you disable it and you're done with that color that channel is now ready to be used with a sensor once you get all 12 sensors on in fact you can put them on at this point it really doesn't matter whether your chips are still operational or not it's just that once you disable all 12 of them now you rely on the sensors okay it's actually reading the level through the wall okay so once the levels drop to a certain amount here's what happens and this is not the newest version but the original version so basically you have boards six channels for each board so that's 12 and these are cabled to each sensor and the little lights will come on light number seven comes on that means cartridge number seven from left counting from left to the right will be ready for topping off 
That's it. So all you're doing is you're just look, looking at the lights every day. If you see green lights, they're all good to go. If you see one of them is white, that one has to be topped off. You don't have to look at the screen. You don't have to look at anything. You will see it. it it'll, it's in your face, bright white LED light. You just check out which one and you look at the corresponding cartridge that sensors light will be off. So it'll, it'll either be on or off. And then you just pull out that cartridge, remove the plug. And I recommend at that point, when it is declared, you know, that it's ready to be topped off, you can safely put in 60 ml of ink. Okay. It's going to go to like 110 or even a little bit less than that. And even if it goes a little bit above that, you have room. You have room inside the tank. So put the plug back on it and put it back in your printer. That's it. I've done it numerous times already and it's working flawlessly and again it's just you know something that i could ever have guessed i could do in the past we have tried to come up with methods that would allow us to do a sort of like a continuous ink type system that really didn't quite work very well so this is probably the best way to go and again it lasts a long time just so it's the same as having regular cartridges you're basically topping them off. I wish they were all transparent, but they are not. Okay, that would be super simple then if it was a translucent type cartridge. Maybe someone will manufacture one of those. That would be very easy to cast. Just make one of these compartments here translucent. Easy to duplicate as well. So maybe someday that will be the case, but until now, we have to rely on some other method. All right. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I just wanted to give you as much detail as possible how to go about using this system to make your life easier. You can print super cheap now because you can buy your inks in bulk and no more chips are required. Just the initial investment of the sensor system, but that will last pretty much the life of your printer. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. The Pro 1000 is an awesome, awesome printer. And my goal and Mike Lee's goal has been to extract as much out of that printer as possible and make you, the user, be able to produce gorgeous work again without breaking the bank. All right? So, again, until the next time, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.